Everybody says this whippersnapper knows more about baseball than I do. So we're going to do a little video called Baseball 101 with your host, Nick Grunewald. All right, guys, first question. Give me your top three players in MLB right now. Uh, I'll go first. Uh, one, number one, undoubtedly, Mike Trout. He's a five-tool player, and if he continues at this pace, we'll go down as probably a top five of all time. Number two, kind of questionable, Christian Yelich is putting up numbers that Barry Bonds has only been able to put up the past half a year and then now into this year. And number three, Mookie Betts, almost kind of similar to Mike Trout. Very, very good player, five tools, and, you know, the year he had last year is unmatched with Tony Trout. Well, I agree with him, number one, Mike Trout. It has to be Mike Trout. Number two, I say Mookie Betts, the way his numbers are, averages. And my number three, I hate to say this, Paul Goldschmidt. Goldschmidt's basically going to take a huge amount of load off of the, the St. Louis Cardinals player and make that team better. All right, second question. Who is going to be the Rookie of the Year? Um, for the AL, there's a lot of options. In a rookie of the year, in other sports, is very easy to find because there are draft classes. But MLB is, it's a, it's a very odd sport. So you have 27-year-old rookies who have been in the minors for like six years, and then you've got people like Vladimir Guerrero. But I think the AL, I think you could. It's a safe bet to pick Vlad when he gets called up in a couple weeks. And then the NL, I got Pete Alonso. I don't think Tatis Jr. will win it because I don't think Tatis Jr. will be enough of a, of a player to jolt his team into the playoffs like Alonzo will with the Mets. Well, I'm going to disagree just to disagree. I, I like the idea of Vlad Guerrero, but I'm going to say Eloy Jimenez. And the only reason I'm going to say Eloy Jimenez is because it's a Chicago guy, it's a former Cub, and I think he's good. And I'm sorry, Tatis Jr. is the real deal. With having Machado and having other people with San Diego, Tatis Jr. is the man. He's going to be the rookie of the year in the National League. Third question, who's going to make the biggest jump from last year to this year, team-wise? Um, I think the biggest jump, it, it could be the Phillies, depending on how they end up in the playoffs, but I really feel like this Mets team, where they are right now, is really good. For the NL, that's my choice the NL. And the AL, don't sleep on the Seattle Mariners. They made a lot of questionable moves, as people said, but the moves they made were just to save cap space while also retaining players like Jay Bruce. They got Domingo Santana. They got Edwin Encarnacion. Tim Beckham's on a really hot stretch right now. Their pitching's still questionable, but I think they'll be able to stretch out a wild card. See, I'm 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 down on my team, and I'm down on, I'm down on the Cubs, and I'm down on the the NL Central. I, I say the team that's going to make the biggest jumps going to be the St. Louis Cardinals. I don't necessarily know if the Cardinals are going to win the division because the Brewers are awfully hot, but I just see if the Cardinals pitching staff stays strong, I say that they're going to make it. Boy, in the American League, uh, uh, I guess I could go with what he said, but I'm going to uh, I, I'm going to throw a wrench into it. I'm going to say just for the heck of it. I'm, I'm going to say the, the Anaheim Angels or California Angels or whatever they're called. And, and I, I realize they're in last place now, but if they can put everything together and that pitching staff can it do something. No, I'm going to change it. Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins are going to win their division. Forget the Angels. It's going to be Minnesota Twins. Right. You, all right? You know what? This kid knows his stuff. What do you think, Grunwald? I think he's doing pretty good. Give me your bold prediction for the World Series and who's going to win it. Bold prediction? Yikes. Um... Looking at the season right now, it's too early to say anything. There's 150 games to be played for each team. Injuries can happen, but I think the NL, uh, coming out of the NL, will either be the Phillies or the Brewers. And I feel like if the Phillies have one crucial injury to their pitching staff, it will be the Brewers. And if the Brewers acquire a starting pitcher at the deadline, it will be the Brewers. And in the AL, if we're going with bold, we're going with the hot take, Tampa Bay Rays. I feel like the Tampa Bay Rays are a very underrated team, a 
a very good team. They get into the AL where I feel like the Red Sox and the Yankees are going to fight it out. They're going to battle it out. Yankees have a lot of injuries. The Red Sox don't have a bullpen, and their starting pitching has started terribly with Sale getting hit. Just home runs every single night. They can't even hit 90 miles per hour. I feel like the Rays take that spot. They have a great bullpen, and the bullpen has been the key to success for many teams in the past couple of years. I feel like the Rays versus Brewers in the World Series, and I think the Brewers will win their first ever World Series this season. Astros, Brewers. Astros pitching staff strong. Brewers, if they don't get hurt, and Jeffries comes back, and Dallas Keuchel or Craig Kimbrell sign with the Brewers, uh, Cub fans, you better hope you get a wild card because that's all you're going to get. Astros, Brewers. All right, guys, there you have it. Baseball 101 with Mr. Connors and Trey. <laughs>